Hello guys and welcome back for another Dev Shoot and today I'll be doing a review on the Smoke and Mirrors V6 by Dan and Dave. Okay, so this is obviously the Rouge version. And um yeah, and I did unbox this um in my last video. So if you'd like to check that out, there will link in the description for that video. And yeah. So let's start off with the front of the box. There's a very nice design on the front and as you can see it says playing cards going across like in quite um, a nice design there and below it says cards so playing cards and then essentially got the um, Dan Dave logo there it's just very nice going all around there on one side it says distributed by the Dan, Dan, Dan and Dave playing card company it's got this nice board going around there as well on the other side it says Dan Dave illustrated by Cy Scott and on the top it says Smoke and Mirrors Rouge. And on the bottom you've got the Dan Dave logo, dandave.com, and some copyright information there. And here's the back design, we'll get into more information about that later on. And on the, um, the flap here you've got this nice little design, kind of related to this design at the front. And it has the D and D logo there. On the tabs here you've got these nice little circle designs and let's get into the actual cards. Also inside the box is red, the same red on the outside which is very nice. So let's just go over the back design very quickly. It's quite a simple design actually and so as you can see in the centre you've got this nice um, there, um, the Dan Dave logo there which is a D reflected over and um, and it's got this circle design in the background and then it's got this nice dotted pattern there if you can see that it's also got this double border here which is also very nice and I quite like this bad design it's very simple but very nice the red is also very nice so let's get into the cards which you get you get two identical jokers as you can see I'll just go over them quickly they're basically um, this man or this figure um, just standing there with a um, with a cane or a walking stick of some sort and he's just basically in a suit and it, it isn't exactly two way it's, it's actually slightly different let me just show you so as you as you can see it's got this like tiny little curl right here on the design if you turn it over it's like a much longer curl so um, like far away you can see that it looks kind of two way but close up the designs are slightly different but the very nice um, jokers doesn't actually say joker on it which I would like it if they did actually put joker on it but um, yeah still nice jokers so you also get two ad cards not quite ad cards but um, um, they've just got the batch sign here and just got the Dan Dave logo here in red they're identical uh, but they don't really have any information or what but that's still quite nice so let's get into the actual cards you get the Ace of Spades is very nice, quite a lot of design of this. Um, there's not much to really explain about it, you can just get a look at that right there. And um, this is obviously red because this is the Rouge version. And um, on the other ones, like the Denim, it will be blue, and on the Eco, it will be green. And um, same for all the other ones. So it's very nice, and below that it says the Dan Dave Playing Card Company. And the indexes are also standard. As you move through the pip cards, they are the same. But when you get to the core cards, um, they are slightly darker. They've got more grey, and they're very nice. And um, on the originals, they did actually have the. Um, they were more like simplified designs of the core cards, and I obviously preferred those. But they didn't. They don't make those anymore. So this is what they are like now. Still quite nice. So nice colours and stuff like that. The reds are also slightly darker on the diamonds and the hearts, but they're still the same shape. Same for the court cards here. And yeah, they just go through the deck like so. And there you go, the designs on this are very nice. Quite like the designs are very nice. And yeah, I highly recommend this deck because the designs are great. And yeah, there'll be a link in the description below um, to an eBay sellers page, which is where I got this from. And so yeah, let's get into the hand of this deck. It spreads nice and evenly. And um, 
it flips nicely as well cuts nicely fans nicely just do it the other way so you can see the indexes the very nice fan there and riffle shuffles nicely as well dribbles nicely and it's just um, a really great handling deck so I'll highly recommend this deck um, yeah, there'll be a link in the description below um, if you would like to go and get that. And yeah, there'll also be a link in the description below for the unboxing video. And the next review will be the vintage plaid deck, which was the other deck which I got. Um, yeah, so go check that out when that comes out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.